the definition of the status quo. That word has some spunk to it, but I did not make it up. It is the existing state of affairs, especially regarding social or political issues, right? Now, that is where we are right now, and that is sort of how the world is being made. Now, I'm sort of going to give you guys an introduction to this whole thing, because a lot of people really don't understand our current situation and why a lot of the people in power, our only goal is to maintain it, right? The only goal goal of people in power is to stay in power, all right? And I said this before in my other video, I didn't say it as precise, because, you know, I was still working on the art or whatever of making the videos, you know, honing the skill, but I'll say a little bit more uh, finer now. The fact that the people with money, their goal is to keep the money, right? And our entire world is based off of money, right? Money is power. It's pretty much, I think money is too fucking powerful. It is just the end all be all. And there are people who have money and their goal is to keep money, right? They're like ultra freaking billionaires and their only goal is to get money. And money is the end all be all of what is morally sustainable, what is morally acceptable, what is better off for everyone else around you. And, you know, plain and simple, we are better off if other people around us are better off, right? The positive sum game. And success breeds success. And just having uh, the idea that, okay, it works because it is sort of like the natural order or whatever is a very shallow way of looking at it, right? The way our current system is run is for the people with power to stay in power, right? They, I like to call it the bourgeoisie. I like that term, the bourgeoisie. Their only goal is to get to the top and then make it so everyone is paying them and just hold it, right? That's the only fucking goal is to get on top and just stay on top. That's the only fucking goal. This has been the same fucking families for the last how many years? They just get on top and they just stay on top. And what is, you know, sustainable, what is better off for everyone else isn't important. And people are, you know, better off if other people around them are better off. So think of it as playing a fucking game of Monopoly, right? And the other player already owns the board and they already own all the property instead of having the game end you just go in a fucking circle and pay you know, you just they in monopoly it's funny because okay you won the game ends but in our current world it doesn't end you just go to the fucking circle and pay and these uh big corporations do very immoral things because their only goal is to maintain the status quo it's not about what is fine or whatever and the people defining the rules as the people with money, they will only define the rules to make it so they can get more money. You know, more money than the human mind can even comprehend for generations to come, you know? But they only need more money. And they will define the world in such a way that they will only get more money, right? And I'll go to, you know, a few examples. Just, you know, I'm not just making this shit up, but a lot of people... Are just like oh there are the the right and then there are the left there are the right and then there are the left and it is so much more complicated than that the world is very you know flowing there's so much to it and and so at some points people only going after the money who actually make good results like a good example I like is uh, aviation you know the airliners now there are a few plane crashes that were solely caused by the fact that. Boeing or whatever wanted to save money. Like, they're just like, oh yeah, let's just, you know, put this AOA sensor and just have it fucking break so we can beat out Airbus. Uh, but for the most part, you know, it is cheaper for, you know, planes to not crash. You know, same thing as cars. It is cheaper for cars not to crash. Therefore, you know, cars are not crashing. But there are some cases that the thing that makes the bourgeoisie the most amount of money isn't like that, you know? For example, you know, people laying off their employees, you know? 
it's not really fine. It makes more money, right? Employees are assets, right? People say, oh, regulations are bad. But that stops the freaking companies from paying you $2 an hour and working in a fucking sweatshop. <clears throat> One in five. Now, before we've had a regulation, you know, the world is slowly improving. You know, we're getting better technology. The world's going in a nice place. But there was this uh, piece of shit named uh, Andrew Carnegie. And you know, people are like, wow, he's such a hero. And he died a freaking millionaire. Like in Pittsburgh, everything in Pittsburgh is named after this guy. There's like Burroughs named Carnegie. And he was this uh, steel baron. He was a incredibly rich dude. And he made most of his money by doing his shit as cheap as fucking possible, right? His entire goal was to make the most amount of money, right? And, you know, the side effect's nice, the fact that we have steel build buildings now, but it came at a really heavy cost, right? Because, you know, it is cheaper to not have safety regulations for your employees. You know, it is cheaper to, you know, not lay off. Right? It is cheaper to lay off your employees than to actually fucking pay them. Right, and since money is the full definition as what is you know sustainable, acceptable, and you know best off for the future, you have shit like the whole uh, one in five. Right now, I'll pull up a link right now in the description. But you know, during Pittsburgh, there's this guy who ran these factories, and for every five male deaths, one of them was directly caused by these uh, steel factories. Right. And that is so fucked up because most of the time it was, you know, pneumonia or people getting crushed and shit. But these people are literally like inhaling like molten steam and then like falling into steam. So in Pittsburgh during the late 1800s, one out of every five men who died were directly caused by these steel factories. And this man, he died a freaking millionaire. He had so much fucking money. And, you know, just because what is most sustainable, what is most acceptable, is solely defined as money. And the people who have the money, you know, define the game to what can make them more money. And there is so much fucking shit that this causes, right? And a few other things that the people with money do to keep the money. I'll just drop a few. You know, the big corporations... They don't pay taxes, right? It's something called the Delaware loophole or like the Ireland twist or something. But uh, untangible assets are untaxable in Delaware. So what happens is that all companies place their uh, government headquarters, you know, their headquarters to the government in Delaware. And since it is cheaper to not pay taxes than to pay taxes, and since what is cheap is the sole definer of what is good, we have them not paying any taxes at all. You know, and then they lobby the government so they never fix it, right? They never make it what is fair to everyone else, right? So all the weight falls on to the people, you know, in the middle class, which is a total fucking shit show. It's called the Delaware loophole. You know, they pay zero dollars in taxes. Like the big corporations don't pay a cent in taxes. Not only that, they, uh, you know, they lobby the government, right? Because you know, people say the government sucks. That is because it is just uh, an extent of the corporations. Now, it has some existence to itself, but it is very much shaped by the corporations. And even if you, you know, somehow not pay a cent, you know, to the bourgeoisie, if you somehow manage to not give them a dollar, and you still pay your taxes, you're still giving them fucking money. Right, because you know they abuse tax relief. Uh, there's a building, uh, the UPMC building. They are a charity, but the CEO has like 12 Learjets. But you know it's a charity, so they get uh, government money. Like the government gives uh, UPMC, which is sort of a hospital or whatever, like millions of dollars because they are a charity. They're not a fucking charity. They are a corporation, but on paper. They are a charity, so they get government money, right? Just by paying your taxes, you're giving fucking money to the bourgeoisie. It's fucked up. Now, another thing, too, uh, how, you know, money 
is the sole definer of what is you know morally acceptable or what is sustainable we have the u.s prison system now i can do a whole video on this i'll have another link in the, the description called the sentencing project and then the sentencing project is a charity that attempts to you know spread information about the prison system and how the prisons run in the u.s is that they are privatized but the government pays for them right so the government is pretty much just paying for it off tops but a millionaire keeps the money and then the prisons are run as cheap as possible now and there's a whole lot of fucking shit you know they lobby the government for you know mandatory minimum sentences and all this fucking shit to make sure that they can imprison as many people as possible because that what's what make them <laughs> that's what makes them the most money make the private prison systems will get money from the government to run the prisons and then with that money they uh, lobby the government for uh, stricter sentences especially targeting uh non-violent drug offenders and there's a whole lot of uh quotas the fact that the government still has to pay them if they have empty cells so the you know the police force are promoted to arrest people you know especially non-violent drug offenders and since the corporations can make as much money off that as possible is what continues is they define the laws right because they define the laws to what best suits their needs not what is best for the you know positive sum game now i made another video on positive sum game like two minutes ago i filmed it but oh another thing too is you know, no one cares if you're not american but they also uh imprison like uh, illegal immigrants instead of just like you know send them back or whatever what they do is whatever you think about the immigrants or not but this is not the fucking solution the fact that if you illegally cross into america they'll put you into a private prison and at that point the government will give the prison money the prisons are ran as cheap as possible right and they'll keep that money it'll go to the ultra rich people and then also go to lobby the government for making it so they keep on getting more prisoners and it just it's just the same fucking shit over and over again you just go to that fucking circle and pain that's the entire way the world is run and if you make it so these corporations can do whatever they want they will define the rules for what best suits their needs you know what can maintain the status quo and change is pretty much everything right change is really important it's all about adapting and changes and just as we you know, discover more as you know social boundaries change or whatever change is important in the way our current uh, you know system is run is the fact that the people get on top and their only goal is to stay on top and that's the whole thing it's like whatever you're like oh yeah uh the libtards are gonna take you it's so much more complicated than that it's so much more fucking complicated capitalism is sort of like natural selection it is sort of like the same thing so that is why it works right and you know that's how a lot of people think right now i've talked to a lot of people you know, people have a lot of different beliefs but the fact that it's uh, like natural uh, selection is not a good belief now i'm going to argue that you know humans aren't a natural thing but you know, issues are a lot more complicated and with nature and natural selection if you think that is somehow how our government should be run just because it's sort of like nature and nature you know works nature goes by a lot of different rules right that's what other people think they think that just because our system is like natural selection and i'm a tough and the only tough survive it's with nature things fucking die right like if you are the like best in the entire fucking world you fucking die right and then more people take your place but with our current system they don't fucking die they're fucking immortal these corporations literally get on top they define the rules and they just maintain right and we have shit like climate change which is real climate change is real climate change is real uh fuck 
Yeah, I could talk for hours about all these fucking shit that these companies do, right? Because, you know, I can, like I've been saying for like 20 minutes now, uh, their only goal is to get on top and maintain, right? It's not about what is, you know, best for the future. It's just about getting as much money as possible and then getting more money the next financial quarter. That's the way our entire uh, system is run. And, you know, it's a, it's a spectrum, right? You know, it can be, you know, really good or really bad. And I think we're slowly getting better. Now, I'm going to generalize now, and I hate generalization because, you know, words are freaking easy. You can say whatever the fuck you want, and it will be said. But, you know, the world, world is something different. So I'm going to sort of attempt to make something good out of this, right? Because I think it's important to be happy. So I'm going to say the fact that I think the world is getting better, right? Just because, you know, the positive sum game, right? Happiness breeds happiness. People will be better off around you, makes your environment better off. and You are a product of your environment, right? And that is just strictly more sustainable. Our current system with, uh, you know, bourgeoisie trying to, you know, maintain the status quo just isn't best. It's just not best for everyone in the entire world it's just not a good way for the world to be run so well from what i can see i can sort of see a go into the new horizon right i can sort of see the good times coming a little bit i'm not sure but that's the way our system has been good so far is the fact that the positive sum game can still breathe you know that we can still sort of take advantage off of other people be better off but i think these corporations these uh, bourgeoisie trying to stay rich you know, putting their extra two billion dollars ahead of people's actual livelihoods you know laying off employees so you can get an extra million dollars it's just not what is best it's not sustainable and you know, we've had you know, hint you know we live very nicely for the most part for the most part, we are able to, you know, not starve to death and not, you know, die, which is nice, just because uh, the status quo is not being totally held the fuck down. And I'd say, you know, probably at least half of the corporations don't actively fuck over the world. You know, they don't actively make the world a worse place, but there are a lot of companies out there that get on top, define the rules, and make the world way worse than it could possibly be with our current technology. So, in conclusion, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, right? You are a product of your environment, and other people around you are your environment. And you are part of the environment for other people, right? And you are a product of your environment. So if your environment around you is as best as you could possibly be, you will be as best as you can best as you could possibly be. But if you are as worse as you could possibly be, the environment that you are to other people will make them worse off because they too are a product of their environment, right? Success breeds success and it is crucial that you know we continue to improve hopefully that's my overgeneralization that things are improving because you could get fucking worse you know the fucking all of new york could fucking flood from climate change but you know i think it's important to stay hopeful and you know you know just saying it could be worse or it might get better doesn't fix the fucking issue we need people out there you know making this shit fucking change. You know, adding, if you have no regulations, you have Carnegie Steel Factories, where one out of every five male deaths are caused by that piece of shit. So yes, I hope you too can understand that the natural order is good because it is sort of like natural selection. It is a natural order. And you have to Be the alpha male. Because the alpha male only survives 
when only the strong survive. Alright, bye now. Ooh.